My name's Debbie Cooper, I'm Digital Artist Training Curator at Quad. I've worked with staff at Quad and partners from national museums and galleries and local partners to develop this artist training programme. We wanted to make sure that artists working with Quad in the surrounding region and further have a range of digital skills that are really useful to arts organisations and useful to their future careers. Lots of artists need to engage digital, but it's quite challenging when they're not from a digital background. So we've developed a range of programmes and workshops and activities that enable them to have digital confidence, to be able to do digital research and augment their current practice with digital skills. There's so many fantastic artists out there who have a fantastic practice but maybe don't know how they can add more participation skills and more digital skills to it. My name's David Booth. I'm a, a fine artist in Derby. I'm a sculptor and painting around sort of reinvention and transformative use of materials. In the past year or so, I've engaged with researching for into digital technology and how I could use that to enhance my sculptural practice. Uh, my name is Faha Grahman. Um, I'm a photographer. Uh, my work is mostly documentary photography and photojournalism. I was just thinking to bring digital art into my practice and make it more interactive. Uh, maybe I can engage more people to my work and make it more meaningful. My name's uh, Sam Metz and I'm a, an artist mainly focusing in performance, um, but I'm really interested in research as well. Um, up to this point, I'd mainly use kind of digital elements to document and I thought there was kind of more scope to use them in creating and kind of expanding the whole process of my work. Uh, my name is Laura Mossop, I'm an illustrator and digital painter. Um, I was interested in coming on the course because it would offer uh, getting a lot more knowledge about new technologies that are emerging and I felt like I didn't know enough about that and I was really interested to see how it could link with a lot of the digital painting techniques um, that I was learning. Uh, there's lots of events going around Quad tonight, including Laura Moss appears doing some um, photo capture, digital animations, fights and things like that. There's little leaflets you can get to upload your images that she's going to make into a martial arts film. Uh, a broader understanding of how all these new technologies link together um, and how I can then create new experiences for uh, art viewers and how I can then develop my own art practice to explore those more um, instead of just keeping the, my artwork on a 2D page, really bring it more into 3D and allow people to uh, participate with it a lot more and get more interaction into my work. I came on the course to further expand my knowledge of digital technology to, that, that I can use to enhance my sculptural practice. I want to be able to add an element of interactivity either by sensors that allow my sculpture to react in some way. So it, it's adding a, a different contextual layer. Uh, digital artist training is incredibly important to Quad for a number of reasons and quite often the digital element of artist training is one thing that's overlooked so we were very keen to kind of put a special emphasis on that. I think one of the things that's often overlooked in terms of the arts is that we're all part of a supply chain and digital artist training for us is absolutely crucial both on a local and regional level for us to be able to have enough artists that we can access and that have got those skills that are relevant to the types of activity we're delivering um, as well as providing um, valuable skills, information and knowledge to those artists so that they can work in many different contexts around the country, which also has secondary benefits to us because they then come back to Quad and come back to Derby after working with other partners, bringing new ideas and new suggestions back. Uh, I'm Dom from Ludic Rooms and um, I've been here today uh, and uh, some other days doing some workshops, trying to get the participants, I guess, to have a play more than anything else, get some hands-on opportunities to really um, explore the kind of technical vocabulary, the, the sort of possibilities of what can be done when using different materials, um, sort of digital and uh, other sort of technology. If you're a photographer and you can't do your job without a certain camera or with a certain plug-in in Photoshop, or, you know, who's 
create who's the creative one and who's not, who has the agency and who doesn't. So we've been making uh, robots, thinking about the relationship between the artist and the uh, and the technology. The robot making workshop takes milk frothers and it kind of examines the properties of them and gets people to think about um, the different materials that they're made up of and how the way that they behave could be repurposed to either make a drawing machine or make a sound machine or make something kinetic. As far as technology goes, this is uber simple because you've got power and an output. And then we've also been taking uh, MP3 music players uh, and thinking about the way that the signals move around the circuit boards and the uh, components inside. Being hacking and drilling and soldering uh, them so that they can be repurposed, played with, experimented on and generally taken apart and put back together again. And then we've also been looking at physical computing using uh, things like Raspberry Pi, the Bear Conductive Touchboard, um, and Makey Makey to look at how uh, we can program interaction and how we can kind of develop a more uh, co-creating role with audiences with our work. Um, what we find really interesting is how artists can bring to the course um, a whole range of different practices and to think about how they can translate their practice into something that might engage with digital technology, digital tools, but still keeping the core ethos of their, you know, their original ideas and their, you know, their, their first love of a different medium. Through this programme we've also developed collaborations with Pervasive Media Studio at Watershed and Tate Digital. This has enabled us to look at where we are as an organisation and what our digital offer is and what our offer to artists and to the community is. So we're very excited and very grateful for our partner organisations such as Watershed and also we've been running workshops here at Quad with the artists to test out their skills and um, it's very nice of uh, Tate to collaborate with us to offer a showcase platform for the artists to test out their new participatory projects with, with the public. The showcase day at the Tate was a really great opportunity and was able to show the work at uh, an open day uh, and present the work to, to the, the staff at the Tate and to the general public and it was really interesting to see people's reaction to, to what I'd done in maquette form and also the vision I had for the work and where I'd like to take it. The event that we had at the end of the course uh, at Tate to share our project was really, really great because we get the chance to meet other people and people have some feedbacks in our works and getting some ideas. And it was generally was really nice to share our, our work. So this Digital Artist Show and Tell is the first time that we've collaborated with Quad, which is a, a unique space up in Derby, an art centre, a gallery, a, a cinema, um, and this terrific uh, training course for artists who uh, get the chance to expand their existing artistic practices into the digital domain. The showcase is really an opportunity for them to bring that to a new audience here in our digital studio at Tate, uh, for us to invite different members of staff who are particularly interested in, in emergent practice in this area and who commission artists to do different things on the programme at Tate, um, and for us really to get hands-on experience of what uh, this group of artists on the course have been exploring through their practice and to talk about the process of that and particularly the participatory elements of that. So we're really pleased uh, to be involved in this partnership. I coordinated the collaboration uh, with, uh, with Debbie, uh, was running the course at Quad, and I think this course actually in the way that we shaped for the show and tell event at Tate was very DIY, was very lab focused, so not only um, having the artists to, to show their perfect work, uh, but actually showcasing a process. And I think that it was the most important and engaging aspect of actually uh, bringing this collaboration to life. Through this programme, we've worked with a range of national and local partners 
to develop artist training placements across the country. So the artists are learning what happens in other arts organisations to get an understanding of the arts world and developing their skills and getting work from these. It's been fantastic working with um, Debbie, particularly because she's a practising artist and I think um, what's most useful about that is she's been really helpful in opening up um, kind of roots into furthering our own careers. Um, it's like previously when I've been looking to develop my practice I felt some um, things quite inaccessible um, just knowing really basic things about um, what should be in a proposal um, how to approach uh, companies to work speculatively um, they're, they're things that seem quite basic within an artist's career um, but without having someone who's there and doing it um, you're, you won't know and um, Debbie's been like really friendly and massively supportive and um, really open to being asked any questions. We've found that when artists leave formal education they don't have the opportunities to develop their practice in the same ways. So by running this course we've enabled them to have hands-on activities and also training to develop their sustainable practice. This has included a range of workshops from technological ones including things like Isadora, Makey Makey and Arduino to also sessions on fundraising and developing their social media and their press and marketing. For me, the course has been really informative. I've gained experience of uh, a lot of different digital techniques. I've been able to sort of consider them and, and, and get a focus on where I want my work to go. We've, we've gone through different softwares, different new technologies to combine with my previous work, which was documentary photography, and that was absolutely amazing. To, to anyone who's considering coming on the course, I'd heartily recommend it. We've each taken uh, the experience of the workshops and applied it to our practice in, in our own way. The course allows you to go through that process where you consider those things and apply it to your particular practice. You know, you, you get the chance to meet other artists that are doing different kind of, kind of artworks and uh, when you can combine your work to, with digital, it's just amazing. It's, it's just taking it to another level, I guess. This programme has been really beneficial for the artists, enabling them to grow and learn new skills. But it's incredibly beneficial for Quad. We need to develop a stronger community of artists and also artists with great digital skills. Our audience are really excited by digital. It's a big part of our programme. New skills, new ideas, new thoughts, new creative um, thinkers within the space and within us as an organisation, which all feed into our overall programme objectives, themes um, and hopefully successes in the future. For arts organisations, our future is the artists we work with and we need artists who have amazing skills, who are confident about their practice, who are ambitious, that we can work with, collaborate with and enable to grow, which will also enable us to grow. <laughs>